Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here at Justin's Fish Room. Today we've got a really awesome video planned. It's how to make your own fish food. So you can use it for discus, you can modify it for any type of fish that you have. Um, today I will be making this recipe for rams, discus, and uh, the ultimate ones and that sort of thing. So there's a lot of meat in this um, mixture, but there are other vegetables like zucchini, spinach, that sort of thing. So let's get started. Okay, so we have a bird's eye view here, um, just so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got some prawns here, and I've taken the shell uh, and the tails off. Um, you can actually buy these deshelled, and you can get the little um, digestive tract taken out as well. Um, I just get these from the local Aldi's. If you don't have Aldi's, you know, whatever local pet shop or um, local food store, I mean, um, would be perfectly fine. So you just cut it into little pieces because I'll be using um, a small blender and you want the blender to not you know, give up halfway through making your food. So just cut them into sections of three. And one important thing uh, to consider is that while you're doing this, so I'll show you, here's the cup. Um, it's a Nutri Ninja, so just a small amount of time. So I'll do a handful of prawns, and then I will get a fillet of fish. So this is the next ingredient. This is um, whiting fillet. It is best if you do get it de-skinned as well, but this is fine, um, and deboned. So this is a really good white meat fish that we'll do next. So I'm just going to do one of these, just by cutting it into sections again, that are easy for the blender to kind of blend up and, you know, turn into a beautiful uh, fish food mush. So I put that in there. Okay, awesome. Now the next ingredients I'm going to put in are a few little segments of zucchini. So zucchini are always really high in different minerals, different vitamins or vitamins, wherever you are in the world. And um, they're just really good for putting into fish food. So I'm going to put some of that in. Not too much though. Um, then the next ingredients, I'm going to have to be quite sparing with this because it's not cheap. This is uh, yellowfin tuna. And I'm just going to say this. Um, this is probably the most important ingredients in the whole dish because of the oil. The oil is so good for the fish and it's um, also good at stimulating the appetite of the fish. So very important part of um, this whole, I guess, fish food dish. Um, but can you please make sure that if you do buy yellowfin tuna, that it is um, sustainably harvested because they are an endangered species. We want to make sure that we're doing good by our natural um, populations of fish in the ocean and to make sure that we'll always have them. So <clears throat> that's the next part. Okay, so the next really important ingredient is garlic. So this is crushed garlic. You can have minced garlic, whatever you want. And you're only putting a tiny bit in. So like, I'd say a third of a teaspoon per um, proportion of um, the mixture. So just be a little bit sparing with it because it's very potent, very strong. And now you could use selenium um, powder, which is like kelp powder, algae powder. Um, it's very expensive. And the point of this is just to show you how you can make really high quality, good fish food for really cheap. So a great alternative is getting the um, spinach that you can get from the local shopping center. Um, it's really cheap, it's like a few dollars a bag. So just use that and I might do two handfuls actually of that. And what I do is I just cut it a little bit finely, not too fine, but enough so that it will easily mix through the mixture while the blend is going. So I'm going to have to probably press this in a bit. It's a bit messy, but I'll clean that up. So there you have it. That's the, the mixture. 
I'm gonna put a tiny bit of water, not too much, um, just to allow the ingredients to kind of blend together, to mix together, and yeah, so let's get on with the blending. Alrighty, so it's really, really thick. Um, this blender is extremely good at breaking it down into kind of like a, a smoothie kind of looking thing. Um, that's okay because the prawns are actually going to act as a binding factor. So um, people use it as binding factors for all sorts of different meals. Um, we're going to be using it as a binding factor for the discus food. So, or the fish food, sorry. So you can have a look in there. It's not the best looking uh, concoction, but it'll be really good for the, for the fish. So now all I do is I'll probably need a bigger spoon. And just put it onto this lined tray. So I've just lined it with cling wrap. Um, you can get uh, environmentally friendly cling wrap. I didn't have any um, at the moment. So unfortunately I've had to use just normal cling wrap, but I suggest that you use the environmentally friendly one. It's always good to help out the environment in every way we can. Alrighty everyone, so we're up to our last one. So that gave us four whole uh, portions. And so we're just gonna blend the last one, spread it out on the tray, I'll freeze it, and then once it's frozen, I'll show you how we pre-cut it and yeah, we'll go from there. Alrighty, let's do this. Cool beans. It literally only costs like, I think $30 for the whole thing. Um, that's including the really expensive yellow and tuna. <clears throat> um, and yeah, so it was just like really, really cheap. If it works out um, that you don't have many of these ingredients, you can literally use any ingredients as long as, um, well, my recommendation is that it's all from the ocean. So if you're gonna do barramundi, make sure that it's ocean barramundi. If you're gonna do salmon, make sure it's ocean salmon. Um, just because, uh, you know, there's just that little less worry about um, freshwater uh, introduction of parasites and all sorts of things. So um, do more research if you want. I know a lot of people put a lot of um, vitamins, vitamins in their mixtures. I don't do that because I personally don't think they need it. I think with all the zucchini, the spinach, all the nutrients from the fish, I'm pretty sure they get all of that anyways. Um, I've even heard of people putting paprika in their mixture to try and make their fish colors look better. Please do your research before you do anything like that because I don't know if it's safe for the fish. If it is, great, do it, but make sure that you uh, do your research. So let's get this into the freezer and then once it's in the freezer, hopefully it'll freeze within the next few hours and then yeah, we'll pre-cut it and feed some to the fish. Let's do this. hours later and we have our frozen uh, fish mixture so all we need to do now is because this is quite thick I'm going to be cutting into thin slices because you only want little thin cubes to feed um, and it's actually pretty easy so if you use this mixture that I used it's very easy to cut you just have to be careful if you're um, if you've got parents around and stuff just probably get them to do it but all I do is I line up the knife and just start on one side and cut it like that, it's as easy as that. Then you get pieces like this, and if you come close, I like to cut pieces about that big. Like cubes kind of, but like not too big, just so you can like, you know, 
if you need two of them you can just use two um, if you need more so it's not a not a big deal if you have smaller pieces you can just use more of them so that looks good and then I'll go ahead and do the rest of this we have another one there too um, and then yeah I'll show you how I put it in the freezer and we'll feed it to the fish Alrighty, so we have our cut up bits of mixture and um, I thought I'd have to freeze them. Uh, I thought maybe they would have melted a bit, but they're actually holding together quite well. So we'll go straight to the fish room um, and go feed the fish. Alrighty, so there you have it. Um, that's my recipe. My mom and I made that recipe a while ago for the discus fish and the GBRs, tetras, um, the all number plecos. They just go crazy for it. So if you do do this recipe, um, I'm sure you'll love it. Make sure that you modify it for your type of fish. Put whatever they need in there. And um, yeah, just remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please leave a comment down below. Um, I always respond to the comments and love getting to know you guys. So thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video.